our wonderful, whimsical world of winter. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Joshua? I play the Legion to the flag in the United States of America and to the Republic which is stay one mission of the God and the visible preservative and justice for all. Thank you all.
real pat the snow Around that medium ball We've got the middle of the snowman Freeze! We'll make a snowman We'll make a snowman We'll make a snowman Freeze! We'll make a snowman We'll make a snowman We'll make a snowman Freeze! We'll roll the snow Into a small ball To make the head of the snowman Freeze! We'll pat the snow Around that small ball We've got the head of the snowman Freeze! We'll make a snowman We'll make a snowman We'll make a snowman Freeze! We'll make a snowman We'll make a snowman We'll make a snowman Freeze! We'll use some rocks or coal for his mouth and eyes A carrot for his nose, that's no surprise Some twigs for his arms from some fallen trees A scarf and hat, we've got our snowman Freeze! We'll make a snowman We'll make a snowman We'll make a snowman Freeze! We'll make a snowman We'll make a snowman We'll make a snowman Freeze! Good evening, pre-K families and district leaders. As your early education community partnership coordinator from Georgia's Department of Early Care and Learning, I, Bridget Washington, am so honored to welcome you to Clayton County Public Schools annual pre-K winter program. Some may ask, why is reading so important for young children? Research shows the ability to read on grade level is a strong predictor of future academic success. Children will be more likely to graduate from high school. Children will be more likely to get a job and earn a livable wage. If a child can't read, they can't learn. Building language and literacy skills helps children to become kindergarten ready and on a pathway to learn and progress through the school system. Take every opportunity to use language with your children. Read a book with your child or have your child read a book to you. Books are for learning. Books are for fun. You can even make books together. Cut out pictures from old magazines or calendars. Set them in the form of a book and add your child's story. Let their words tell the story. Help them write the words if you need to. Use daily activities to introduce your child to descriptive words. During hand washing, you can talk about the temperature of the water, the soft creamy soap, Ask your child how it feels, how it smells. During grocery shopping, talk about the red firm apples or the soft yellow bananas. While riding in the car, point out the sunshine, the rain, the snow. Ask them how they feel about it. You can even have them point out words on bulletin boards or practice reading them. There are many fun ways you can encourage and incorporate the use of words in your daily routines. Take some time out of each day to focus on reading with your child, indoors and outdoors. Write down the things you see, the words your child uses. Making a point to use descriptive language and read books daily with your child will definitely make a positive impact on your family's future. It's winter time, so I have my scarf because it's cold outside. So let's bundle up and get ready for some snow. Here's my winter hat to keep me warm because I'm cold. And here's my snow. So, it is my pleasure to introduce to you the Pre-K Winter Program, a wonderful, whimsical world of winter 
with performances from our pre-K students based on the book, The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. Enjoy the performance. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. These are my eyes, and this is my nose. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Crunch, 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 crunch. His feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. He walked with his toes pointing in like that. Have you ever seen a penguin come to tea? When you look at me, a penguin you will see. Penguins attention, penguins begin. Right, Flipper, have you ever seen a penguin come to tea? When you look at me, a penguin you will see. Penguins attention, penguins begin. Right, Flipper, left, Flipper, have you ever seen a penguin come to tea? When you look at me, a penguin you will see. Penguins attention, penguins begin. Right, Flipper, left, Flipper, right leg. Have you ever seen a penguin come to tea? When you look at me, a penguin you will see. Penguins attention, penguins begin. Right, Flipper, left, Flipper, right leg, left leg. Have you ever seen a penguin come to tea? When you look at me, a penguin you will see. Penguins attention, penguins begin. Right, flipper, left, flipper, right leg, left leg, head. Have you ever seen a penguin come to tea? When you look at me, a penguin you will see. Penguins attention, penguins begin. Right, flipper, left, flipper, right leg, left leg, head. Turn around, have you ever seen a penguin come to tea? When you look at me, a penguin you will see. Penguins attention, penguins begin. Right flipper, left flipper, right leg, left leg, head. Turn around, penguin sound. <laughs> Penguins attention! <laughs> then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks and he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. It was a stick. A stick that was just right for smacking a snow covered tree. Down fell the snow, bloop, on top of Peter's head. Five little snowmen jumping in the snow. One fell off and bumped his toe. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more snowmen jumping in the snow. Four little snowmen jumping in the snow. One fell off and bumped his toe. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more snowmen jumping in the snow. Three little snowmen jumping in the snow. One fell off and bumped his 
thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough. Not yet. So he made a smiling snowman and some angels. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great big tall heaping mountain of snow and slid all the way down. He picked up a hand full of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. He told his mother of all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. And he thought, and he thought, and he thought about them. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere. No snow was falling. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall. And they went out together into the deep, deep snow. The end. Snowman jumping in the snow One fell off and bumped his toe Mama called the doctor and the doctor said No more snowmen jumping in the snow Four little snowmen jumping in the snow One fell off and bumped his toe Mama called the doctor and the doctor said No more snowmen jumping in the snow Three 
little snowman jumping in the snow. One fell off and bumped his toe. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more snowmen jumping in the snow. Snowman jumping in the snow One fell off and bumped his toe Mama called the doctor and the doctor said No more snowmen jumping in the snow One little snowman jumping in the snow One fell off and bumped his toe Mama called the doctor and the doctor said Put those snowmen right to bed Thank you.